Hi, I'm Allison. I am, oh, okay, they know. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I am here in California. Nathan and I decided to spend two or three of the winter months in California, and because I am the way I am, I thought nonstop about what I was gonna wear, what I was gonna pack. It was just like on my mind 24 seven until we left. But now we're here, so I'm really excited to show you what I packed. So, this is what I brought for LA. Hi, I'm Allison Bornstein and I'm a stylist. I believe that fashion can be used as a wellness tool. For me, change is really hard and I find uh, it's really difficult for me to like move apartments or change locations or it's, I just, I have a hard time wrapping my mind around it. So for me, clothes are such like an important part of the way that I feel and kind of like a consistency. I wanna create a space that's warm and that's comforting and that kind of feels like home and feels like me because that one moment where I get to like choose my outfit for the day really just like dictates everything. So that is step one. <laughs> So for literal months, I was thinking about what I'm gonna wear in LA, what I'm gonna pack for LA. And the way I sort of got started was I made a little folder on my phone and just kind of threw like inspiration images in there and kind of created like my LA mood board. You don't wanna copy and paste the looks, but you want to sort of use them to, I don't know, to just get inspired and then use what you have to kind of create a similar look or a similar vibe. That's how I started. I compiled a bunch of images, put them on my phone and kind of made a bit of a mood board. Next, after looking at my LA mood board, um, I started a list on my phone that was pretty much just like everything that I might want to bring to LA. And I kind of updated it, I edited it as I went. For me, again, somebody who like has a bit of a hard time with change, that was something that made me feel actually very productive. So this is everything that I brought. As you can see, I have some dresses here, plenty of jeans, so many blazers and jackets, because this is one place where like, you really can layer up and like a, a blazer is huge. These are the shoes and bags that I brought as well and accessories, okay? So as you can see, I still kind of have the same vibe as my New York vibe because even though the temperature is different, my lifestyle is not. So I'm doing the same things here that I would be doing in New York. So I'm working from home, I'm seeing clients, I'm seeing friends for dinner or like casual hangouts or walks and you know, I'm having dinner with friends. I already said that. So kind of like those are like the four main things that I do in my life. So a few other things that I considered when I was packing. First of all, I feel like the style in LA is a little bit more casual. So that was something to kind of take into account. And second, I'm here from January to March, which like the weather changes a bit in, in those three months. And also I feel like here the weather changes a lot throughout the day. So that's another thing to consider, just kind of like the layering and the different temperatures. So I'm gonna go through some of my bases and my go-to looks, as well as things that I wish that I packed, some of the things that I had to purchase and some of the things that I haven't worn yet. So without further ado, I'm gonna start with my first base. This is base number one, tank and jeans. Very simple. Um, if I was a New Yorker, it would probably be like a black cashmere sweater and jeans, but because the temperature changes a lot, I like to sort of start with like a tank top. So tank top and jeans, this one is from Totem. I feel like I've worn it in a ton of my videos. It's a nice ribbed tank. I have it in like white and it's sort of a greenish gray color. These are the jeans I've been wearing the most. They're Celine jeans that I got on the Real Real. And the reason I like them, especially for here, is because they're a bit more wide leg, which to me feels a bit more relaxed. And I kind of like the frayed hem. Again, it's, it adds like kind of more relaxed and not necessarily less polished, but just kind of like a more effortless vibe. Let's talk about the add-ons. So the first add-on is almost so obvious that I don't even know if I have to say it, but I will. It is a blazer. It's my favorite thing of all time. And LA is so good for me because I feel like it's constant blazer weather. You can do a sweater with a blazer, a tank with a blazer. It's great. I brought one, two, three, four, five. I did bring six blazers. <laughs> Maybe that is dramatic, but I have been wearing them a lot. So now I'm gonna show you a few combinations of jeans, tank, and blazer. So first I'm gonna talk about my leather blazer. You know it, you love it. The first look I've been doing a ton is tank, jeans, blazer. And then I will usually do, I totally forgot to pack a pair of boots. So I left my favorite Jack Irwin kind of like Western Chelsea boots in New York. So when I got here, I realized I didn't have any boots and I had a credit on Kate. So I got these, which I thought were really cute. And I obviously I'm gonna wear these in New York as well, but I just thought they were a good boot. So I will normally do something like this. I will do this silver kind of egg pendant. I really like that. I love doing like a ton of necklaces, but I also kind of like the minimal feeling of just having this. And I also, I feel like with the black on black, it's kind of nice to have the silver as a pop. 
I've been adding this vet bag a ton, which is really nice because it's not necessarily like a color. I don't even know what color you would call it. It's like a, a greenish gray, but it just adds a little pop and I love to wear it kind of crossbody to just sort of break it up so it doesn't feel like all black. These little aviators. And this is like a very classic look that I've been wearing here. Love this because I can wear this to dinner. I can wear this to lunch. And also like, I feel like maybe it feels like a teeny tiny bit fancy, but then, you know, you take off the blazer. And you're just wearing like a tank and jeans, but it still feels nice and put together as well, you know? Okay, so that's number one. Next, I have been wearing this a lot, which is a secondhand men's blazer that I actually found. It's Celine and it's very big, which I actually kind of like. Um, and because it's so big in the shoulders, I feel like I need like a chunkier shoe. I've been wearing these little Celine loafers, which I actually, it was my kind of treat to myself before I came. <laughs> and they're really comfortable. I'm very glad I got them. The jacket is quite big and the jeans are also like a little bit more wide leg. I think it's nice to have the tighter tank to kind of give it like a little contrast. And I like that the loafers are also heavy because the weather does, whoa, sorry. <laughs> because the weather does change a lot. I often will bring just like a little, you know, like a little, crew neck sweater that's kind of easy. And I also just like, like the look of having it tied. Honestly, it's more like for function and I think it looks kind of cute. I would probably go with this little basket bag just because I think the rest of the look is a little bit menswear and like a little bit serious. And I think that this gives it just like a little sense of humor and it feels fun and light. And yeah, this is another kind of easy go-to look with that same exact base, but feels totally different. For me, like wearing loafers to dinner feels appropriate. I don't think you have to dress up too much more than this. I brought, of course, my acne blazer that I use for every single video, and that was in my um, closet regulars. But I also got this one from Mateau, and it's linen, so it's a bit, it's just like a bit softer. I find it really nice because you can roll up the sleeves, you can like, it, the feeling of it is like very much um, not structured, which I think is really nice. Obviously like as simple as can be this look, but it works. I'd probably either do this with the boot that I used before, but I feel like this could also be like a little bit more beachy and do it with a little sandal. I would also do, to add even more fun, I think I would do this blue knit Merlette bag, which is really nice. And then these black sunglasses and oops, and these black sunglasses. This is a look that feels like New York goes to California, right? It's like kind of New York on top. And then like we got like the frayed bottoms and the little kind of chunky flip flops. I don't know, it just feels, this feels right to me. If I was gonna dress this up a bit for dinner, I would go for, oops, sorry, the Allison Jack Irwin shoe this would be kind of the way that I would dress it up. Cause I like that there's kind of like the bit of ankle showing and this still allows for that. As you can see, I rely pretty heavily on accessories. I feel like my accessories do a lot of the heavy lifting. Like I switch the jewelry quite a bit. I do different bags, different shoes. It just like totally changes the vibe. So we're gonna keep the same base of the tank and the denim, but the next add on is the cardigan. I have had this black one for a while maybe needs a little lint rolling. Kind of similar to the first look where I will do it with the silver necklace and this big cardigan. And then again, the civet bag and just kind of call it a day. It's super easy. Before I came, I also did another splurge besides those Celine and I got it in the lighter color. I've been doing this one quite often with the white version. Oh, my clothes are inside out. Um, I've been doing it just with the white version of the tank top, which I think is super cute. Cause I feel like a cardigan, I don't know, sometimes maybe it feels, I don't know if unsexy is the right word, but a little like, eh. I've been doing like a, a more high-waisted slimmer denim with this like little knit cami underneath it or like a little sports bra. So just like a little bit of skin is showing. So yeah, so the cardigan is like another like very easy add on that I can just wear with everything. I can wear with a black turtleneck. I can wear with a black tank top. It's just a kind of a good thing to go over all the bases. So all of the looks that I did with these blue jeans, I also have been doing with these white jeans, which is like kind of huge because then you have sort of double the looks. So literally every single look that I did before, I would also do like this with the white. So basically, like I said, 
another base is a tank top with white jeans or using a white tank top with the blue jeans. I feel like there's just kind of like a lot of very subtle tweaks that you can make that makes it feel like your wardrobe is like huge when it's really not that big. Probably go here, classic kind of bag. Cute, right? I actually don't think I've ever worn this, but I should. Um, so the next base is a tank top and a trouser. I don't know, I used to maybe in New York like kind of wear a trouser more for nighttime, but I feel like I figured out how to make it more casual here. So normally if I'm gonna see clients and wear this, I would do these same Celine loafers. I kind of like the way that the pants are a little bit long. It feels really easy breezy. I like that it's kind of like all black because I think it can be quite fancy, but also these pants are like kind of cotton casual material. I feel like when I have something that is maybe more menswear inspired, I like to add something that maybe feels like, again, a bit more playful or feminine, I guess. So this is also really good because this goes from day to night very easily. If you have time to stop at home, I would just swap out loafers for a booty and then I will put on the same linen blazer. And I like that it's like kind of like a deconstructed suit look. It feels casual, but like, also suity. I like the idea of having like two different textures, two different vibes. You don't have to like buy a suit like together as a suit. You can kind of make your own and I feel like this is very cute. I will do a similar thing but with these pants which are silky and more flared. I've worn these in other in past videos. You can see that these have some texture. My silk trousers which I've been wearing a little bit less but I'm still so glad that I brought which I think looks super cute. Love the movement of the pants, but then you can make this feel really casual and then it becomes more of a casual vibe, which I really like as well. I have the black sunglasses. I just put on these like little chunky flip flops, kept the black tank and then did this little basket bag. Cute, right? So the last base that I'm gonna talk about is a silk top with jeans. This is kind of like a little bit of a preppier look for me but it still definitely feels like in my comfort zone. I've worn both of these, I actually wore this last night, but I feel like sometimes the tie neck blouse feels like maybe a little bit stuffy for here. So I've been going for things that are more buttony. This one that I'm wearing, I'll often throw on and kind of do a tuck in with jeans. This one I've worn in so many videos too. I like this kind of just like untucked with a pair of denim like this and maybe like a sandal or this one looks also really cute with trousers. I've talked about these two a lot as well. These Tove blouses, which I'll wear open with a tank top. I'll wear them on their own. I like that they feel like a, um, like a silk top, but they're more flowy, which I feel like kind of works for LA. Like kind of a little, just more like, so this is the Tove blouse. I love it. I wear it truly so much. And I, I usually like to like have a blazer with me because I like that this top is super flowy, but I like to have it contrasted with something that's a bit more structured. So I'll usually do this leather one or I'll do my acne one that I love. So the next base is specific, but I have found that it is so necessary, which is a hiking look. Okay, people here love to hike. They love to exercise. A hiking look. So what I have been wearing to hike. This, like I said, is a very specific, like an LA specific base, but I feel like a lot of people here love to um, hike and exercise and go on walks. So this is what I wear when I want to exercise, but then go to lunch after and kind of feel cute. I often do it just with like a white sock and then these white Nikes, which I'll tell you a little bit about later. And then I will throw on this bomber that I found the day before I left New York at a vintage store. Yeah, so this is another kind of easy, breezy hiking look. I would probably do maybe these sunglasses to break it up because it's a lot of black. And I'm ready to hike, I'm ready to exercise. If it gets hot, I will do this guy around the waist and then still have my bomber. And again, it feels appropriate to exercise. I mean, maybe a teeny bit fancy, but it feels appropriate to hike and then still feels good if you're doing something after, which to me is very important. Obviously, as I say always, but I'll just repeat it again, everything that I have, you don't have to have the exact same things to make it work. So you've seen the things I've been wearing on repeat. Now I'm gonna show you some of the things that I brought, but I have not worn. First of all, dresses. I brought all my favorites. Of course, this one from Refine this nice cutout one, this black caftan, and this floral. So this is just kind of 
a classic case of I'm not really a dress girl, but when I was packing for LA, I was like, oh, people in LA wear dresses, so maybe I'll become like a dress girl in LA. I didn't. I could have maybe brought one. Which actually brings me to my next thing that I haven't worn yet, which is these boots. I wanted to bring one pair of high boots because I figured that if I wore a dress and it was cold, I would style it with the boots. But since I haven't worn the dress, I haven't worn the boots. If I was packing again, I'm not sure if I would bring these. Still love them. Another thing that I haven't worn is shorts, which again, I was picturing wearing with like a sweater and these boots. It just really hasn't been warm enough, I might. I haven't really worn these leather pants that much. I brought two pairs of loafers. I brought these Kate ones, which are a bit more minimal, which I wear all the time usually. And then I brought these Celine ones that are a little chunkier. I find that because I have been wearing the wider jeans, I prefer those chunkier shoes than these, so I actually have not worn these. Here are a few things that I did not bring but I, and I had to purchase. Kind of annoying. I left my favorite Jack Irwin boots in New York and forgot to bring them, so I ordered these when I got here. They're different enough that I'll still wear them both when I'm in New York and they're really comfortable. I also had to buy these white Nikes that I'm wearing. <laughs> and then I brought these, which are suede, so you kind of don't really want to wear these on a hike or a walk. I also just want to talk about, I mean, no regrets, but I want to talk about a few things that I wish that I would have brought. I packed like in, December and I, it was really cold so I feel like I wasn't really thinking my black Neely low tin like um, more billowy blouse the reason I didn't bring the Neely one is because it's, it's really similar to the Tove and I brought the Tove because I figured I could wear it more ways however this isn't like something that I just throw on the Neely one I can throw on with jeans and just like I'm done so I sort of wish I would have brought that too I was a little bit too edited there Something else I totally forgot to bring um, that was also in my closet regulars video. I probably just should have watched that before I packed, but um, I forgot to bring a denim shirt and I kind of regret that because I feel like that would be another nice layer. Like a denim shirt would be super cute over this as well. I feel like I could have brought maybe a few more sweaters, but I feel okay in that department. Because I don't have all my clothes here, there's certain things that I miss from my wardrobe, which I actually think is okay because I feel like when I go back to New York, it'll feel like everything is brand new. Like for example, my redone navy pinstripe blazer that I wear in all my videos, I didn't bring that because I figured I wear it so much, like we can give another blazer a chance, but of course I wish I brought it. But yeah, other than that, I feel pretty happy about what I packed. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions, any comments, any concerns. Um, this was really fun and I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. I brought this, another tomorrow coat. It's perfect because it's super lightweight. It goes over all the blazers, it goes over sweaters. And I feel like this is good because you can hike, but then you can like take off this sweater and wear, like leave it in the car. But then if you're like going out to lunch, you can wear it like this.